So I just saw Top Gun Maverick. And you know what? I, I liked it. I don't really like these kinds of movies, if you will. But you know what I do like? Good, compelling stories. And Top Gun Maverick provided a really fun story. I'm not gonna say it was the best movie of all time, and I'm not gonna say it was even remotely bad. It was just a really wild roller coaster ride, and I like that a lot about it. I think my main problem is that um, the the whole idea of the planes and why they need to do this whole thing, why they need to do this two-hour uh, long routine, is kind of past me. Like. They're in like they're they're doing this because there's like someone betrayed NATO and no one likes that. So I think it's because like someone has like a uranium cave somewhere. I just don't see why that should spark such a big initiative. We can take that out easy. First you need to like laser bomb it. Okay, you laser bomb it and then you have to bomb it again. And that does the actual uranium explosion. Which is kinda weak. Like the whole the whole idea of the of the movie is that these these people are not ready and they have to swerve through these fucking mountains and that's really hard. And then once they're there they have to go up to a high altitude, drop, shoot shoot this laser, and then shoot this bomb and then go at like nine th nine g's until your sight goes gone and then drop and then of while your sight is gone and get past missiles that are flying at you while there's also patrol planes trying to kill you and i mean all of this shit is so beyond how I thought that you could make a movie. Like, I thought that norm normal movies, would, I thought it would have a simple plot with more laid back th things or an out of this world plot with like twist after turn, it's like we're, we're going to war, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it's like the middle ground. It is just so insane but also so perfectly simple the idea of the uranium cave is so simple and but the execution of getting there is so good it's so well done and i love the scene where like the, where where the where the instructor walks in and he's like okay i'm taking over for tom cruise um you're my, you're my new students. Uh, what the fuck is happening on the smart board over here? Um, and it, and fucking Tom Cruise comes out of nowhere and flies the course in two minutes and 15 seconds. 15 seconds shorter than was the original planned time. I am, this movie takes so many twists and turns and I love it. There's hints of a romance like a romantic plot and then tom cruise has sex and blah 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 and then it really doesn't fucking go anywhere it's like okay um love you i'm now piloting my my mission uh love you bye and um and it's it's not even like in the end it's not the love that fuels him it's a. Uh, it's the it's his it's the fact that he let down this guy's dad and he's going to make it right to him. And the story of of Rooster and Rooster's dad Goose, I mean I think it's pretty well executed. Um it's not uh my favorite and I'm I'm so done with uh with Rooster and Tom Cruise saying to each other don't, uh, don't think about it, just do it. Like, they say it five times throughout the movie, and I'm so fucking done. Like, you could, you could, you could have said it once at the beginning. Okay. 
could have said it once during the plane ride, great, and say it one last time at, at the end when, when, when it's supposed to be big and sentimental, but don't say it five fucking times, Th there are times where they're saying it for no reason, and I also like that the, that there are like characters, uh, there are side characters that contribute to their own thing, I think Phoenix, played by that one girl from another life, um, could have been given a bit more to do because there's this like cocky guy who who in like hangman who says who saves them all at the end and i really thought that that could have been phoenix and um but phoenix did come back in the end and made a valorant reference um but you know what it's fine i i kind of like this movie it was it was wacky it was fun um it was a roller coaster ride it was loud it was kind of sad and it was, it was romantic. So I think I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. Kind of good and also just very solid as a movie. Goodbye.